Ludwig Bell finishes second, two minutes, 36 seconds behind. 1989 we jump to. Saba Mercedes now in the hunt, the first official factory participation since 1955. Jean-Louis Schlesser, Jean-Pierre Jabry and Alain Caduni on pole. And after the start, the 62 car continues to lead from Balliach and Dickens ahead of the two Jaguars. For the last time in 1989, the cars are running the six kilometre length of the Monsan Strait without any chicanes. Le Mans remains a Grand Prix of endurance and even the slightest frailty is cruelly punished. Sunrose after a long night. The number one Jaguar of Lammers, Tom Bay and Andrew Gilbert Scott was leading. Also there with the Mercedes of Joachim Mass, Mamma Reuter and Stanley Dickens. Chassis built by Peter Sauber, Mercedes supplying the engines, the drivers, and most importantly all, the money. Still problems in these days of uh, safety. Takahashi Japanese Porsche had a big fire after spinning out. Turbo fire as well for the WM Persia, Philippe Gash. Driver knows there's a problem, but he can't see the flames. So Mercedes goes on to win Le Mans for the first time since 1952. The three cars come together, but the winner is the car of Mass, Reuter and Dickens. Behind them, sister car Baldi, Atchison and Brancatelli and the other car of Schlesser, Chabouille and Coudini which finished fifth.